Beaver Island sits in northern Lake Michigan, about 20 miles off the coast of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. At 13 miles long and 6 miles wide, it's the largest island in Lake Michigan. Nestled on the shore, at the south end of the island, is the Beaver Head Lighthouse, home of the Beaver Island Lighthouse School. Most trips to Beaver Island begin about 30 miles to the southeast in the town of Charlevoix in the northwestern part of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. That's where you'll find the two airlines and the ferry service that provide transportation to the island. Welcome aboard the Emerald Isle. The Beaver Island Boat Company carries passengers, cars, and freight to the island. The trip takes about two hours and the boat runs in almost any kind of weather. Ferry service is available from about mid-April to late December. They don't run during the winter because of ice. At the Charlevoix Airport, you'll find Island Airways and Fresh Air Aviation. Both provide daily flights to Beaver Island year-round. Beaver Island is home to about 550 year-round residents, but that population swells to five or 6,000 at the peak of the summer tourist season. It's the most remote inhabited island on the Great Lakes, but you wouldn't know that when you're driving around town. When you do, you'll see Beaver Island has a school, a post office, a health center, and a sheriff's office. There's also a gas station, hotels, restaurants, gift shops, and a golf course. Three underwater cables to the mainland provide electricity, and large generators on the island provide backup power. There are also phones and high-speed internet available on pretty much the entire island. While much of the activity on Beaver Island is centered around town, the Lighthouse School is at the other end of the island, so getting there means a 15-mile drive that takes about half an hour or maybe a little longer in the winter. Since the school has a lighthouse for a landmark, it's pretty easy to find. The Beaverhead Light sits on a bluff overlooking Lake Michigan. It was built in the 1850s and over the years was renovated and added on to. The light was decommissioned in 1962 and replaced by a radio beacon. The Coast Guard deeded the site over to Charlevoix Public Schools in 1975 for $1. The lighthouse and its view attract plenty of attention from visitors to the lighthouse school, but most of the activity involving students takes place at the adjacent lower campus. While the lighthouse looks a lot like it did 150 years ago, most of the buildings at the lower campus are relatively new. Work started here in the late 1970s when students helped build tent platforms so they had a place to live in the summer. Those platforms are still in use. Students also helped build the three cabins that provide the year-round housing at the school. Other projects have included the renovation of an old building that is now the kitchen and dining hall and the construction of a pole building that became the Academic Center or AC. Just like the name implies, that's where you'll find one of the Lighthouse School's classrooms and the computer lab. This is our computer lab here at the Beaver Island Lighthouse School. This is 10 out of our 15 computers that we have. Uh, we do have a very active um, computer use here on the island. We have a um, computers class where they do everything from PowerPoints with animated GIFs and uh, different types of pictures in them to websites which they could, pra they could use and it could be practical if they were to be their own small business owner. But also we have a publications class that uses these computers to create uh, a Microsoft Publisher newsletter every session and to create our yearbook on. So we are very much using this technology and it's greatly appreciated here on this campus. Along with the computer lab and classroom, the academic center also houses a rec room, staff offices, a laundry room, and two female bathrooms. The wood-fired boiler that provides heat for the entire lower campus is there too, along with a large firewood storage area. Students help cut, split, and stack the wood every summer. They also stoke the boiler during the winter. The dining hall and kitchen are in another building on the lower campus. Students take turns in the kitchen, helping the school's chef with meal preparation and cleanup. They also take culinary classes. Between the dining hall and the AC are the three cabins students and staff call home while they're on the island. 
Welcome to Manitou. This is uh, one out of two boy cabins we have here on campus. This is over here is where we play video games and card games and whatever else when we like to hang out. We got a PS3 and a TV. Some nights we like to watch movies. Here we got some bunks where people sleep. All bunks are filled in here. And then right in there is the cabin counselor's room. We have two staff members who sleep in there. We're not allowed to go in there right now. There's no one in here. And then over here we have my bed, and then other students' beds and our dressers and everything. Then over here we have our shoe rack and all of our backpack holders and stuff and a board to write on. And then this way is our bathroom. In here we have two showers two stalls, we have our own washer and dryer, and two sinks of our own. Welcome to the drumming cabin. We have six of us female, this is the female cabin, we have six of us, three in each room, with the staff member upstairs in the loft. Um, in this room, three of us stay in this room. Uh, they got the TV, they're comfy chair just relax in do their homework this is my room we in our room we love to cook our popcorn we got our microwave we cook popcorn about every night um, we just sit around talk got a tub of food our comfortable chair we don't have any a bathroom in here so we take our showers out across the into the AC we got two bathrooms over there four of us can take a shower at a time. There's four stalls, three um, bathroom stalls, and four sinks. We all try sharing, um, keeping each other company over there. <laughs> Along with the cabins, dining hall, and AC, the lower campus also includes the historic fog signal building right on the shore of Lake Michigan. It's been completely renovated and is now used as a classroom. So right now we are, uh, well, as far as I know, one of the select schools that are fortunate enough to have a science classroom down on the shores of Lake Michigan. What we have is a natural classroom that surrounds this building, and then uh, we have inside, we have our, our desk and equipment that we can use to, uh, to facilitate that. So this is a very advantageous location for uh, science and biology and that type of instruction. Students at the Beaver Island Lighthouse School spend a lot of time in and around the buildings at the lower campus. They start the day at 8 a.m. with breakfast and then go to their two morning classes. After lunch, they have another class, followed by 45 minutes of physical activity time and two more class periods before dinner at 6. Students get a short break after dinner, then it's on to night English or study hall. They're back in their cabins by 9.30 and get about an hour to unwind before going to bed. But the Beaver Island Lighthouse School is more than just a place where students live and go to class. They're also involved in a variety of other activities. Besides helping with things like cooking, cleanup, and firewood, the students also have daily physical activity time. There's also a regular schedule of outside speakers and other activities. In addition to all that, there's a student leadership council where the students work with the staff council on school policies and procedures. All of the extra activities help the students learn about healthy living, self-improvement, communication, community, and responsibility. By spending so much time together, students develop close relationships with each other and the staff it really becomes a, a strong community, a strong family. And the trust that builds between the, the students and the, and the staff um, is really, I think, what allows it to be so, so far different. When you're here, you become, it becomes family, you become at home. You're only here for 60 days, but it feels like you know, you've spent forever with everybody here. And it becomes to feel like family and you're comfortable here and everybody helps everybody. We are responsible for not only providing instruction in the classroom, but we act as cabin counselors as well. So that gives us a, a different uh, role in the lives of students, one that most teachers are never able to have. And we're, because of that, we're able to create a bond with the students that most teachers uh, also never have an opportunity to make. It's not a school to me anymore. It's community, and then when we go inside the cabins, it's 
family atmosphere. All, all my cabin members are like brothers to me. I seriously would do anything for those guys. While their time on campus gives students a chance to build relationships, Beaver Island's remoteness and beauty also helps them learn about themselves. The beautiful part about this to me is that as the students start spinning off, as they get angry, as uh, uh, they get frustrated, uh, we can pull them out of class, we can put them in a beautiful setting. Uh, nature is, is very calming and it's very easy to sit down with the student outside listening to the birds, watching the water and uh, help uh, calm them in that environment makes it, makes it much better. When you visit the Beaver Island Lighthouse School, you get to see all the elements that come together to make it a truly special place. But there's one more stop you need to make before the tour is complete. And to do that, you need to go back to the mainland. Every semester ends with a trip back to Charlevoix for a completion graduation ceremony. It's held on the mainland so the student's family and friends can attend. The graduates get their diplomas, and the other students receive certificates of completion. It's a time of celebration, and also an opportunity for the students to reflect on what the Beaver Island Lighthouse School means to each of them. We're like one hit, huge big family, and I've never had so many people who are so supportive of what I do, and it's just really nice. It's meant a lot to me. Great friends, great place, great staff, great everything. I'm just going to miss it a lot. I've been here for five semesters and I would tell all your kids to come here. Like It has impacted my life so much. The school really just built more of like a family trust bond. I mean, I didn't think that it was going to be like this. It's just great. What that school's done for me is what no one could ever have done for me. I. I will love that school forever and never forget it. The Beaverhead Lighthouse helped keep ships on course for over 100 years. Now it stands as the symbol of the Beaver Island Lighthouse School, a school that guides young people in the right direction and helps them chart a course for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm.